To ensure you get the utmost enjoyment and use out of your water heater, please refer to this video and your manual for water heater cleaning instructions and other important safeguards. After you have finished using the water heater, unplug the unit. Next, remove the lid by pressing down on the attach remove lever. Then remove the lid by pulling it towards the spout. Hold the unit by the handle and take note of the location for discarding hot water. Do not splash hot water over the hinge area or operations panel. Be cautious of hot water dripping from the spout immediately after discarding it. Please note that if the water is discarded from another location, water may get inside the main unit and cause scalds or malfunction. Be sure to clean the inner container and mesh filter. While pressing down on the attach remove lever, insert the hook on part of the lid. Do not leave hot water inside the container to avoid discoloration and foul odors. Do not discard hot water from the hinge area to avoid scalds from splashing hot water or malfunctions. Pay extra attention when discarding the remaining hot water, as the mesh filter may fall if it is not properly attached. To clean the water heater, begin by unplugging the unit. Discard the remaining hot water and wait until it cools down before cleaning. Only use clean, soft materials such as a cloth, sponge, or paper towel. Please note that any other servicing should be performed by an authorized service representative. To clean the inner container, rinse it thoroughly with water. Then wipe the inside liner with a clean sponge or paper towel. To prevent damage to the water heater, do not use alkaline cleaning agents. Instead, use a soft cloth and a mild detergent. Do not use cleaners or scrubbers to avoid damaging the non-stick coating surface. All water that contains minerals will leave residue on the inside liner when boiled. If not cleaned for a prolonged period, mineral buildup or stains may become tough to remove, and loud noises may be heard while boiling water. These deposits will cause the motor unit to burn when the dispense key is pressed persistently. Frequent cleaning is recommended. Do not scrub or use a knife to remove the mineral deposit. Discoloration caused by dry boil is not removable. For mineral buildup, use citric acid cleaner every two to three months. We will cover cleaning with citric acid later in the video, or you can refer to your manual for detailed instructions. You may notice discoloration of the inner container and floating white material in the water. Red spots such as rust, milky white discoloration, black spots, iridescence, and floating white material appearing in the inner container are caused by a reaction of the minerals, such as calcium, magnesium, and iron, etc., contained in the water. This is not discoloration, rust, or peeling of the coating surface of the inner container. Although there are no sanitary or health concerns, if stains occur, more frequent cleaning is recommended. To clean the exterior of the unit, wipe off stains with a damp cloth or paper towel. To clean the power cord, wipe it off with a dry cloth. To clean the mesh filter, first remove it from the inner container. Wash with a soft brush such as a toothbrush. Frequent washing is recommended to avoid clogging, which may cause improper dispensing of water. After washing, attach the filter securely to the inner container. If the filter is not attached, foreign objects may enter, causing the pump to stop dispensing. When cleaning your water heater, do not soak the unit in water or pour water on the unit to avoid shorting or electric shock. Never wash the entire unit to avoid water getting inside and causing a malfunction. Do not use harmful materials such as detergent, thinner, cleanser, bleach, metal scrubbers, nylon scrubbers, or chemically treated wiping cloths. Do not put the unit in the dishwasher or dish dryer to avoid deformation. When washing the inner container with citric acid, be sure to follow these directions to avoid hot water spills or scalds. Do not fill the container with hot water. Wash the unit with cold water. Do not fill above the full water level. Do not open the lid during the cleaning cycle. Be cautious of hot steam during the cleaning cycle. To purchase citric acid, visit Tiger's Spare Parts Store. When using soft water, which is different from hard water because it does not contain calcium and magnesium ions, citric acid cleaning with the quick function takes about 90 minutes and is recommended every two to three months. To begin, ensure that the mesh filter is set in the inner container. Fill the water heater with cold water up to the full water level capacity mark. Pour one package of PKS0120 citric acid into the water heater and stir lightly. Then close the lid and plug in the heater. Now press the temp set key and reboil timer key at the same time for about 3 seconds. Cleaning will now begin. 
While the unit is being cleaned, the boiling lamp and the warmer lamp will alternately flash, notifying you that cleaning is underway. It will then switch to display the remaining cleaning time. When cleaning is finished, the boiling lamp and the warmer lamp will illuminate. First, discard the water by pressing the dispense lever. Then discard what is remaining by unplugging and turning over the unit. If stains remain, scrub with a soft sponge and then rinse well with water. To rinse the remaining citric acid, refill with clean water and bring to boil. Then discard half of the water using the dispense lever. Now open the lid and discard the rest of the water. When using hard water, which is different from soft water because it contains calcium and magnesium ions, citric acid cleaning with a 208 degree temperature setting takes about 8 hours and is recommended every 15 to 30 days. Ensure that the mesh filter is set in the inner container. Then fill the water heater with cold water up to the full water level capacity mark. Now pour one package of PKS0120 citric acid powder into the water heater and mix a little. Then close the lid. Now plug in the unit and select the 208 degree temperature setting. Then leave the water heater as is for at least 8 hours or overnight. When cleaning is finished, press the dispense lever to discard a third of the water from the spout. Unplug the water heater, remove the lid and discard the remainder of the water. Please note that hot water has the potential to cause burns or scald. Then, rinse off the inner container and wipe off any residue by using a soft sponge, cloth, or paper towel. Use caution when wiping the inner container as it may be hot. Allow it to cool down a little before wiping it. To remove the smell of citric acid, boil plain water and dispense approximately half of the hot water through the spout. Now discard the rest of the water. If you will not be using your water heater for a prolonged period, clean each part in accordance with these cleaning directions and wipe with a dry cloth. Carefully dry each part. Note that the inside container must be thoroughly dried. Place the water heater in a plastic bag and store sealed.